In particle physics, the weak interaction, which is also often called the weak force or weak nuclear force, is the mechanism of interaction between subatomic particles that is responsible for the radioactive decay of atoms. The weak interaction serves an essential role in nuclear fission, and the theory regarding it in terms of both its behavior and effects is sometimes called quantum flavor dynamics QFD. However, the term QFD is rarely used because the weak force is better understood in terms of electroweak theory EWT. In addition to this, QFD is related to quantum chromodynamics QCD, which deals with the strong interaction, and quantum electrodynamics QED, which deals with the electromagnetic force. The effective range of the weak force is limited to subatomic distances, and is less than the diameter of a proton. It is one of the four known force-related fundamental interactions of nature, alongside the strong interaction, electromagnetism, and gravitation. Topic. Background The standard model of particle physics provides a uniform framework for understanding the electromagnetic, weak, and strong interactions. An interaction occurs when two particles, typically but not necessarily half-integer spin fermions, exchange integer spin, force-carrying bosons. The fermions involved in such exchanges can be either elementary e.g. electrons or quarks or composite e.g. protons or neutrons, although at the deepest levels, all weak interactions ultimately are between elementary particles. In the case of the weak interaction, fermions can exchange three distinct types of force carriers known as the W+, W-, and Z bosons. The mass of each of these bosons is far greater than the mass of a proton or neutron, which is consistent with the short range of the weak force. The force is in fact termed weak because its field strength over a given distance is typically several orders of magnitude less than that of the strong nuclear force or electromagnetic force. Quarks, which make up composite particles like neutrons and protons, come in six flavors up, down, strange, charm, top and bottom, which give those composite particles their properties. The weak interaction is unique in that it allows for quarks to swap their flavor for another. The swapping of those properties is mediated by the force carrier bosons. For example, during beta minus decay, a down quark within a neutron is changed into an up quark, thus converting the neutron to a proton and resulting in the emission of an electron and an electron antineutrino. The weak interaction is the only fundamental interaction that breaks parity symmetry, and similarly, the only one to break charge parity symmetry. Other important examples of phenomena involving the weak interaction include beta decay, and the fusion of hydrogen into helium that powers the Sun's thermonuclear process. Most fermions will decay by a weak interaction over time. Such decay makes radiocarbon dating possible, as carbon-14 decays through the weak interaction to nitrogen-14. It can also create radioluminescence, commonly used in tritium illumination, and in the related field of beta-voltaics. During the quark epoch of the early universe, the electroweak force separated into the electromagnetic and weak forces. Topic: History. 
In 1933, Enrico Fermi proposed the first theory of the weak interaction, known as Fermi's interaction. He suggested that beta decay could be explained by a four fermion interaction, involving a contact force with no range, however, it is better described as a non-contact force field having a finite range, albeit very short. In 1968, Sheldon Glashow, Abdus Salam and Steven Weinberg unified the electromagnetic force and the weak interaction by showing them to be two aspects of a single force, now termed the electroweak force. The existence of the W and Z bosons was not directly confirmed until 1983. Topic. Properties The weak interaction is unique in a number of respects. It is the only interaction capable of changing the flavor of quarks i.e., of changing one type of quark into another. It is the only interaction that violates P or parity symmetry. It is also the only one that violates charge parity CP symmetry. It is mediated propagated by force carrier particles that have significant masses, an unusual feature which is explained in the standard model by the Higgs mechanism, due to their large mass approximately 90 GeV, C2, these carrier particles, termed the W and Z bosons, are short-lived with a lifetime of under 10-24 seconds. The weak interaction has a coupling constant an indicator of interaction strength of between 10-7 and 10-6, compared to the strong interaction's coupling constant of 1 and the electromagnetic coupling constant of about 10-2, consequently the weak interaction is weak in terms of strength. The weak interaction has a very short range around 10-17 to 10-16 meters. At distances around 10-18 meters, the weak interaction has a strength of a similar magnitude to the electromagnetic force, but this starts to decrease exponentially with increasing distance. At distances of around 3 times 10 minus 17 meters, a distance which is scaled up by just one and a half decimal orders of magnitude from before, the weak interaction is 10,000 times weaker than the electromagnetic. The weak interaction affects all the fermions of the standard model, as well as the Higgs boson. Neutrinos interact through gravity and the weak interaction only, and neutrinos were the original reason for the name weak force. The weak interaction does not produce bound states nor does it involve binding energy, something that gravity does on an astronomical scale, that the electromagnetic force does at the atomic level, and that the strong nuclear force does inside nuclei. Its most noticeable effect is due to its first unique feature, flavor changing. A neutron, for example, is heavier than a proton its sister nucleon, but it cannot decay into a proton without changing the flavor type of one of its two down quarks to an up quark. Neither the strong interaction nor electromagnetism permit flavor changing, so this proceeds by weak decay. Without weak decay, quark properties such as strangeness and charm associated with the quarks of the same name would also be conserved across all interactions. All mesons are unstable because of weak decay. In the process known as beta decay, a down quark in the neutron can change into an up quark by emitting a virtual W- boson which is then converted into an electron and an electron antineutrino. 
Another example is the electron capture, a common variant of radioactive decay, wherein a proton and an electron within an atom interact, and are changed to a neutron an up quark is changed to a down quark and an electron neutrino is emitted. Due to the large masses of the W bosons, particle transformations or decays e flavor change that depend on the weak interaction typically occur much more slowly than transformations or decays that depend only on the strong or electromagnetic forces. For example, a neutral pion decays electromagnetically, and so has a life of only about 10-16 seconds. In contrast, a charged pion can only decay through the weak interaction, and so lives about 10-8 seconds, or a hundred million times longer than a neutral pion. A particularly extreme example is the weak force decay of a free neutron, which takes about 15 minutes. Topic: <laughs> Weak isospin and weak hypercharge. All particles have a property called weak isospin, symbol T3, which serves as a quantum number and governs how that particle behaves in the weak interaction. Weak isospin plays the same role in the weak interaction as does electric charge in electromagnetism, and color charge in the strong interaction. All left-handed fermions have a weak isospin value of either plus one half or minus one half. For example, the up quark has a T3 of plus one half and the down quark minus one half. A quark never decays through the weak interaction into a quark of the same T3. Quarks with a T3 of plus one half only decay into quarks with a T3 of minus one half and vice versa. In any given interaction, weak isospin is conserved, the sum of the weak isospin numbers of the particles entering the interaction equals the sum of the weak isospin numbers of the particles exiting that interaction. For example, a left-handed pi plus with a weak isospin of 1 normally decays into a nm plus 1 half and a mu plus as a right-handed antiparticle plus 1 half. Following the development of the electroweak theory, another property, weak hypercharge, was developed. It is dependent on a particle's electrical charge and weak isospin and is defined by y w equals 2 q minus t 3 display style q quad y underscore w equals 2 q t underscore 3 where Y W is the weak hypercharge of a given type of particle, Q is its electrical charge in elementary charge units, and T3 is its weak isospin. Whereas some particles have a weak isospin of zero, all spin one half particles have non-zero weak hypercharge. Weak hypercharge is the generator of the U1 component of the electroweak gauge group. Topic. Interaction types There are two types of weak interaction called vertices. The first type is called the charged current interaction because it is mediated by particles that carry an electric charge the W plus or W minus bosons, and is responsible for the beta decay phenomenon. The second type is called the neutral current interaction because it is mediated by a neutral particle, the Z boson. Topic: <laughs> Charged current interaction. 
In one type of charged current interaction, a charged lepton, such as an electron or a muon, having a charge of minus one, can absorb a W plus boson, a particle with a charge of plus one, and be thereby converted into a corresponding neutrino with a charge of zero, where the type flavor of neutrino electron, muon or tau is the same as the type of lepton in the interaction, for example, mu minus plus w plus nu mu Display style mu caret plus w caret plus two nu underscore mu. Similarly, a down-type quark d with a charge of minus one third can be converted into an up-type quark u with a charge of plus two thirds by emitting a w minus boson or by absorbing a w plus boson. More precisely, the down-type quark becomes a quantum superposition of up-type quarks, that is to say, it has a possibility of becoming any one of the three up-type quarks, with the probabilities given in the CKM matrix tables. Conversely, an up-type quark can emit a W plus boson, or absorb a W minus boson, and thereby be converted into a down-type quark, for example, du plus W minus D plus W plus UCS plus W plus C plus W minus S display style begin aligned D and to U plus W carrot D plus W carrot plus and to U C and to S plus W carrot plus C plus W carrot and to S end aligned the W boson is unstable so will rapidly decay with a very short lifetime. For example, W minus E minus plus new E W plus E plus plus new E display style begin aligned W carrot and to E carrot plus bar new underscore E tilde W carrot plus and to E carrot plus plus new underscore E tilde end aligned decay of the W boson to other products can happen with varying probabilities in the so-called beta decay of a neutron see picture above a down quark within the neutron emits a virtual w minus boson and is thereby converted into an up quark converting the neutron into a proton because of the energy involved in the process i.e., the mass difference between the down quark and the up quark, the W- boson can only be converted into an electron and an electron antineutrino. At the quark level, the process can be represented as d u plus e minus plus new e display style d to u plus e caret plus bar new underscore e tilde topic neutral current interaction In neutral current interactions, a quark or a lepton e an electron or a muon emits or absorbs a neutral Z boson. For example, E minus E minus plus Z zero Display style e caret to e caret plus z caret zero. Like the W boson, the Z boson also decays rapidly. For example, Z zero B plus B. Display style Z caret zero to B plus bar B. Topic: Electroweak theory. 
The standard model of particle physics describes the electromagnetic interaction and the weak interaction as two different aspects of a single electroweak interaction. This theory was developed around 1968 by Sheldon Glashow, Abdus Salam and Steven Weinberg, and they were awarded the 1979 Nobel Prize in Physics for their work. The Higgs mechanism provides an explanation for the presence of three massive gauge bosons W+, W-, Z0, the three carriers of the weak interaction and the massless photon gamma, the carrier of the electromagnetic interaction. According to the electroweak theory, at very high energies, the universe has four components of the Higgs field whose interactions are carried by four massless gauge bosons, each similar to the photon, forming a complex scalar Higgs field doublet. However, at low energies, this gauge symmetry is spontaneously broken down to the U symmetry of electromagnetism, since one of the Higgs fields acquires a vacuum expectation value. This symmetry breaking would be expected to produce three massless bosons, but instead they become integrated by the other three fields and acquire mass through the Higgs mechanism. These three boson integrations produce the W+, W-, and Z0 bosons of the weak interaction. The fourth gauge boson is the photon of electromagnetism, and remains massless. This theory has made a number of predictions, including a prediction of the masses of the Z and W bosons before their discovery. On 4 July 2012, the CMS and the ATLAS experimental teams at the Large Hadron Collider independently announced that they had confirmed the formal discovery of a previously unknown boson of mass between 125–127 GeV, C2, whose behavior so far was consistent with a Higgs boson, while adding a cautious note that further data and analysis were needed before positively identifying the new boson as being a Higgs boson of some type. By 14 March 2013, the Higgs boson was tentatively confirmed to exist. If the electroweak symmetry breaking scale were lowered, the unbroken SU interaction would eventually become confining. Alternative models where SU becomes confining above that scale are quantitatively similar to the standard model at lower energies, but dramatically different above symmetry breaking. <laughs> Violation of symmetry The laws of nature were long thought to remain the same under mirror reflection. The results of an experiment viewed via a mirror were expected to be identical to the results of a mirror reflected copy of the experimental apparatus. This so-called law of parity conservation was known to be respected by classical gravitation, electromagnetism and the strong interaction, it was assumed to be a universal law. However, in the mid-1950s Chen Ning Yang and Sung Dao Li suggested that the weak interaction might violate this law. Qian Xiong Wu and collaborators in 1957 discovered that the weak interaction violates parity, earning Yang and Li the 1957 Nobel Prize in Physics. Although the weak interaction was once described by Fermi's theory, the discovery of parity violation and renormalization theory suggested that a new approach was needed. In 1957, Robert Marshak and George Sudershannon, somewhat later, Richard Feynman and Murray Gell Mann propose a V minus A vector minus axial vector or left-handed Lagrangian for weak interactions. 
In this theory, the weak interaction acts only on left-handed particles and right-handed antiparticles. Since the mirror reflection of a left-handed particle is right-handed, this explains the maximal violation of parity. The V-A theory was developed before the discovery of the Z boson, so it did not include the right-handed fields that enter in the neutral current interaction. However, this theory allowed a compound symmetry Cp to be conserved. Cp combines parity P switching left to right with charge conjugation C switching particles with antiparticles. Physicists were again surprised when in 1964, James Cronin and Val Fitch provided clear evidence in Kahn decays that CP symmetry could be broken too, winning them the 1980 Nobel Prize in Physics. In 1973, Makoto Kobayashi and Toshihide Maskawa showed that CP violation in the weak interaction required more than two generations of particles, effectively predicting the existence of a then unknown third generation. This discovery earned them half of the 2008 Nobel Prize in Physics. Unlike parity violation, CP violation occurs only in limited circumstances. Despite its rarity, it is widely believed to be the reason that there is much more matter than antimatter in the universe, and thus forms one of Andrei Sakharov's three conditions for baryogenesis. Topic. See also Weakless universe, the postulate that weak interactions are not anthropically necessary Gravity Nuclear force Electromagnetism <laughs>